Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, part six of my cancer protocol. <music> Digestive health. All disease comes from our diet and it doesn't come from our genes and therefore the body is capable of healing itself of any disease. So this is a very empowering message. So, you know, since all disease comes from our diet, well, it's the most important thing we need to do is think about how are we going to digest our foods? What, how are we going to help digest our foods? And what, do we get, what things do we need to put into our body to make sure that happens properly? So what we're talking about is probiotics, the friendly bacteria, prebiotics, fermented foods, and digestive enzymes. And all three of those are very, very important for our digestion and breaking down foods, breaking down nutrients so our body can absorb the, the nutrients that you find in your foods. People, you've always heard the phrase, you are what you eat. Well, you're, you're not what you're, you, you eat. You, you are what you can assimilate. So if you can't assimilate foods because your digestive tract is so dirty because you've never gone through a fast or cleanse it, or you're not taking acid alpha and bifidus and breaking those down, you don't have digestive enzymes that help break down these foods, uh, you've lived on a cooked food diet your entire life, maybe it's a junk food diet, fried food diet, fast food diet, and your body stops producing all these digestive enzymes. Things like lipase, lactase, uh, protease, all these break down digest, you know, foods in different ways. And we need all these, these, um, these enzymes. Amylase is another one. That's a good example of one that breaks down carbohydrates. So you've got to have these in your diet at all times. Well, if you live on a bad diet, well, you're going to have to start supplementing with them. And, you know, that's what I highly recommend, especially if you've got a serious disease such as cancer. You know, your body's not, probably not producing any more of these digestive enzymes. Like, for instance, um, you know, people become lactose intolerant. Well, that's because your body has stopped producing lactase. And now you can't take that lactose molecule and break it down. And so, you know, it ends up just causing you diarrhea. So now you're lactose intolerant. So as you, your body loses the ability to make these enzymes, we need to start supplementing with them. There are dozens and dozens of uh, types of probiotics out on the market, but there are really two t kinds of probiotics. One of them uses bacteria, and that's what you would expect to find in a probiotic is bacteria, friendly bacteria. But then there's something that's called spores. So I have a product, for instance, called ProFerment, and that uses bacterial spores. Well, you know, the sort of the spores become the bacteria, so it really has the ability to do a couple things. First of all, every one of those spores will generate millions of bacteria, but more importantly, it really allows them to, be, to, to you know, cultivate inside your digestive tract much more efficiently. And they're also, uh, spores are much more temperature tolerant. Uh, you know, really the brand that I have, the DE111, which is in the Pro Ferment, that one's ten temperature stable up to 200 degrees. To keep things simple, I just recommend a full spectrum digestive enzyme blend which is my digestime. It's got all these different uh, you know, enzymes in it your body requires. I take that right before a meal, and I take my probiotic about 20 minutes before my meal. Um, and you, know, you can take some of the probiotics um, you know, with the bacteria and some with, uh, with the spores. It doesn't really matter, but you want to take that about 20 minutes before you eat. And you know the digestive enzymes just a few minutes before or with your meal, and that'll give you really, really excellent digestion. You've got to have a probiotic in your diet if you want to be healthy, and in particular, if you have this serious health challenge such as cancer, you're going to need a probiotic. Because I'll say it again, all disease comes from our diet. Okay, You're, you you know it doesn't come from our genes. It doesn't run in your families. Uh, you know, you, you see cancer running in families, it's got nothing to do with your family genes. If you're being told that, well, you know, now it's your turn, everybody in our family gets prostate cancer, everybody in our family gets breast cancer, now it's your turn, you just have to go through this. You know what, just reject that and know that your body can cure itself of any disease. And all disease starts in the digestive tract. We want to keep that as clean as possible, working as perfectly as possible. And probiotics, and prebiotics and digestive enzymes are the way to make that happen. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time.